Hello, Live Unchained world. We are in the studio with the very talented Janelle Jordan. Uh, <laughs> if you've been to our set, you've seen her work. Uh, the very talented artist who is doing a print for us of Warsan Shire that you can get now via our Indiegogo campaign at indiegogo.com slash live unchained. And so today we're just gonna get a chance to learn more about Janelle. <laughs> all right, thank you for being here, first of all. Yes, and I really, I really um, love your art. Um, can you just tell us how you became interested in painting? Um, well, I've always, I've always been creating things since I was like a little kid. I've always been drawing and always been interested in kind of um, making whatever was on paper look like what was in front of me. I was always mm -hmm. looking at magazines and drawing since I was little. So um, I went to school for it. I went to Delphi University and I majored in painting and I kind of, um, we started doing charcoal, we did charcoal for like two, three years, that's all you ever got to do. Mm -hmm. And then they introduced um, painting, kind of like oil wipes, kind of similar to mm -hmm. what I do now. And it's kind of like drawing with paint, so I really like that. So okay. I kind of, once I found that, I just fell in love and that's what I've been doing pretty much <laughs> ever since, yeah. And I really like that your art is so energetic because I feel like Sometimes you know the art world can be kind of serious and heavy and uptight, yeah. but your work is so vibrant. And I'm, I'm looking at this party scene like, right <laughs> behind you, um, and it captures the party scene. So how did you arrive at that kind of like that fun vibe aesthetic in your work? Um, actually, college, same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up I had to choose a senior thesis, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I couldn't find out what I really wanted to do. And I know it had to be something that was relevant to your life at the time. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that really sounds really horrible, but it's, you know, <laughs> you know my senior year, it's my senior year, so, yeah. you know, college is partying and yeah. dancing and drinking and taking pictures and things like that, so oh. I, um, actually, that's where it really came from, okay. and, um, it was like the whole Facebook era when it just started, you know, Facebook okay. was just becoming popular, and, um, you just would, you know, go out with your friends, get really dressed up, and go take pictures in the hallway, mm -hmm. and then go to a party, and then go take pictures to show that you were having fun at the party, you know? <laughs> yeah. It seemed yeah. really silly, but that's kind of mm -hmm. what we did, so I kind of started collecting those photographs for mm -hmm. my thesis, and then I would start looking at them, and I'm kind of a visual person, so when I'm looking at a photograph, I'm like more dissecting everything about it, so I'm dissecting mm -hmm. the composition, even if I didn't take a photograph, I'm mm -hmm. looking at the patterns, I'm looking at, you know, I guess the fabric or the material mm -hmm. of the dress and how the light's shining on it. And I started finding, like, there's a lot of really yummy stuff <laughs> that I wanted to, you know, to, to do and kind of fit together in my own way. So that's kind of where the idea mm -hmm. came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because your work focuses so much on people um, and they're central to it, is there something that you try to capture about about a person when you're painting them or a group of people with like their energy or their yeah pretty much their energy mm -hmm. um their spirit i think i have to definitely connect with the figure in the photograph um but i usually look for body language and how people are interacting mm -hmm. um i love smiles i love teeth like mm -hmm. I, I love to smile and laugh and yeah. you know it's kind of pretty much <laughs> me as a person so i love capturing that i love capturing when someone's in the middle of you know laughing or something like that that's mm -hmm. really important to me so that's kind of what i do look for mm -hmm. yeah and, and I know we've talked about like the party scene a lot, but that's not all that you paint. <laughs> yeah. So could you tell us about some of your other works? Yeah, um, some of my works that aren't party scenes. Um, I did start doing this painting for nonprofits thing where I go to, um, or I'll find a, a nonprofit and I'll do a, um, a commission for them. So mm -hmm. they'll give me photographs or I'll go over there, I'll take photographs of what they're, what they're doing and I kind of put them together. So that kind of made me step out of my little party scene box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so I'll, I, I'll start doing that and then I've also started looking at um, magazines and things like that, other sources of imagery so I can um, kind of put, I think I try to find things that are different, well this is what I'm starting to do anyway, mm -hmm. try to find two, um, two things that are different and kind of put them together, things that are really irrelevant and put them together and try to, I guess, make them seem as if they should be in the same space. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what I'll start doing next. Okay. That that does sound interesting to me. So, so what would be an example of that putting two things together that are, are different to make them say something? Um, I don't know, just two maybe two different figures from two very different there are two different very different environments. Okay. And kind of put them in the same space and have them kind of talk to each other. I think I kind of do that already with mm -hmm. my party scenes because everyone's usually from a different photograph. But I want them to to talk to talk to each other and kind of have a, a narrative, I guess, um, okay. that I get to create on my own. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I like I like seeing um, things out of place. Yeah. Because I, I like how art can bring together worlds that you wouldn't see together or energies together that you wouldn't see together. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. So we can see more of that on your website? Yes. Some, some more art. Okay. Yeah. So we will be going to JanelJordan.com yes. <laughs> to see those images. Um, and thank you again, thank you so much for the print that you're um, contributing to our Indiegogo campaign. Thank you for um, Yeah, and like, I'm very happy that even with, um, with the campaign we also got to work with, graphic design students that created visual art inspired by her poetry. Yeah. So it was really cool to see those. that. Yes. Um, and for you, I I, believe I sent you um, her poem for women who are difficult to love yeah. because the name of the event, Terrifying, Strange, and Beautiful, comes from that. Yeah. So can you tell us what that poem by Warsan meant to you? Um, well, first of all, like, I, I love her. Like, I'm in love with her now. Well, I'm, I'm a groupie. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I really am, though. I really am. Um, I don't know. Her words really make you, like, feel. Yeah. I don't even know how to say it. Like, they just make you mm -hmm. feel, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I think the poem, I think it really what it says to me is, um, you're terrifying, strange, and beautiful, something that not everyone knows how to love. It's pretty much, I, I mean, she's not saying that you are difficult to love. She's saying mm -hmm. you're not difficult to love. You know, right. everyone's, stra everyone's strange, everyone's, everyone's terrifying, everyone has these unique qualities and layers to their personality that make them them, and there's mm -hmm. only you know, there's only a few people on this world that are built to love the you that you are, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, like that, yeah. so. That's uh, really profound, I think. Yeah. 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 It does, yeah. And I, I feel like the connection to it in the print. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> Which we will cut away to as I'm talking right now. <laughs> Over it. Um, and we end all our interviews with what does living unchained mean to you? Um, living unchained means finding your purpose here on this earth, whatever that is, and doing it without fear and without inhibition. Mm. Embracing so, all the terrifying, terrifying yes. and strange, and beauty. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you are terrifying <laughs> and beautiful. And are you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that you were able to work with us. Yes, with thank you. Yes. And again, you can get that print at indiegogo.com slash live unchained. It's yours with the contribution of $200, which is like an awesome deal. Somebody needs to get this print because <laughs> this, you, you're not going to get this deal anywhere else. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.